So way back in March, me and Alex put a ton of plywood out at a couple spots, um, mostly to prepare for the whole Coyote Peterson thing so that we'd have lots of stuff to flip. And funny enough, we haven't really checked them since. So what I'm gonna be doing today, now that it is a crisp, cool fall day, is I'm gonna be flipping some of this plywood and seeing if anything is hanging out underneath there. So let's get after it. All right. Got the first one right here. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, first board, big milk snake. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, buddy. I keep dropping sticks on you. That's neat. First board. Maybe this is gonna be pretty good. Let's check him out. He's sitting right in a little rodent's nest and oh my gosh, he's freezing. Oh, and a garter. I miss that guy. All right, let's put this back down. He's not winning any awards for his appearance, but that's cool. Look how slow he's flicking his tongue. He is like ice cold to the touch. This is just kind of your standard dark Eastern milk snake, but we'll take it. First board has a snake under it. That's really cool. Kind of some nice tan in between the blotches. And then those blotches have some nice black on them. But yeah, just a real plain one. Regardless of the uh, color or vibrance of the snake, it is a nice healthy adult, which is always great to see. So, super cool. Okay, just as I was saying, I'm gonna put him back. He couldn't help but get me with some poop. Musk, I should say. Ugh. See you later, buddy. tunnels and stuff, but this one needs more time. Oh, big vole. Look at that, dude. Whoop. This one's got vines and stuff growing on it. Not seeing anything. Looks good, though. All right, so I've made it out to an area where I've seen a lot of baby hog noses in the past. And that's kind of the goal for today, is to see some little hatchlings, because it's getting to be that time of year. So we're gonna hike around this little opening and see what we can find. I flipped this off camera, check that out. How's that for a flip? It's like every garter in the, in the field is hanging out here. Just gotta move them so I can put the rock back. Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh. They just keep coming out of nowhere. Come on. All right, so no baby hog noses, but the next snake of the day was under that rock, which was way too big to flip and film. But check this out. Little, tiny eastern milk snake. Super neat. I can't tell if this little guy is this year or last year's young, but it's pretty high white, and as they usually are at this age, pretty reddish in color. Super neat. All right, neat. I'm gonna let this little guy on its way. Cool. Check this out. Whoa, there we go. I don't usually show a whole lot of frogs on my channel, but here is a big pickerel frog. Usually you just see the young ones down by the water and the grass and stuff like that, but it seems like the, the adults which can be really pretty like this one, male with those yellow legs and leopard print pattern almost. Um, it seems like the adults will wander farther from the water, which is kind of cool. Kind of like a wood frog almost. Neat. 
I was gonna get a release clip, but that guy just took off way back in there, so oh well. All right, guys, so I was walking by this abandoned pile of, uh, I guess, guard railing right here, and check this out. This caught the corner of my eye. It is a absolutely massive male timber out pretty far from any uh, den sites or anything like that, so definitely a male, and it is massive and hugely fat. It must have a rabbit in it or something like that. It is just absolutely gargantuan. That is ridiculous. Um, obviously, I don't want to bother it too much if it's got a meal in it, but that thing is huge. Holy smokes. It definitely sees me and it's kind of moving under the guardrail right now. But that thing is a unit. I, I can't think of the last time I saw something this this large. All right, guys, I'm on my way home. Uh, it was a little bit of a slow day, despite um, a fun couple finds, like that giant rattlesnake and some milk snakes, things like that. I'm gonna pick this video up another day. Uh, maybe I'll be down in the coastal plain. We'll see where the next part of the video takes us. All right, guys, I am out today. It's a new day in the coastal plain. Got plenty of rain recently, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm actually filming on a GoPro today, which is not at all my preference, but I'm getting my camera fixed um, for a little mechanical error. So we're gonna have to roll with this and maybe an iPhone for some macro shots today, but let's see what we can find. You can see the tunnel right here. It's kind of neat. Oh, got a bunch of subcoddles. So something came in here and shed its skin at one point. See, these are all subcoddle scales, meaning the belly scales of the snake. But no snake in sight, so, oh well. All right, moment of truth. Definitely seeing some. Ooh, a couple, couple little clusters. Give it a good wipe, but hopefully the wetness is keeping them kind of at bay. Mantis season. That time of year. Looks like an old box turtle, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that worn old shell. Nice turtle. Yeah, look at that, how old that bottom of the shell is. Beautiful. Yeah, older female? Male. I think it might be a male. male. Oh yeah, male. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna let it off the road. That's like a rare find if I'm gonna... Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a big tree. We can't even pull it. On to the next spot. <laughs> go up, kind of, or close, kind of, right? All right, so first snake of the day here. We've had a lot of cover to just be finding one measly little neonate ringneck snake, but hey, can't complain about that. Pretty neat. I'm gonna put them back into this little shingle pile.
All right, just flip some junk. And second snake of the day on a so far pretty slow day, this little red-bellied snake. Pretty little guy. Let's check him out. Oop, hold on. Pretty little snake. Beautiful. Off to a slow start, but uh, hopefully we turn it around soon. See ya, buddy. Alright, the next snake of the day, after a long period of flipping and not finding anything, despite pretty good rainy conditions today, and it's been a really dry summer, um, but anyway, the next find of the day is this little racer. When racers are young, they have these kind of cool patterns on them. Um, a lot of banding and stuff like that. It's a little heavier towards the head. And as you can see, he's gray now, but he's going to turn completely black within the next year, probably. And, uh, he's going to lose all this patterning, but pretty neat. We just found him in a shingle pile over there and, uh, we're going to let him go. All right, so I just flipped this board and got this beautiful cinnamon phased red bellied snake where uh, kind of the dorsal is really reddish, even compared to the belly, which is cool. Um, unfortunately, it's in shed, but this snake would be bright, bright red if it weren't. Still pretty neat. Awesome. I'm gonna let it go back under its board. Tis the season, I guess. These are all little seedling ticks. Super fun. All right, guys, it is getting later in the day. It has been very, very slow, uh, but we are going to do some road cruising and maybe we'll be able to turn our luck around. We'll see what happens. I'm really hoping for anything here save the day. <laughs> Yeesh. Absolute specialty in this region. Very narrow roads. Bomber. Rough green snake. Looks like, oh no. Looks like it got hit somewhat recently. It's still got a little bit of springiness in it, but I'm gonna move it off the road and keep driving around. Too bad. Pretty good. Long time. Long time. All right, so I've got this guy with me, and uh, the end of that video was a bit of a drag. The coastal plane kicked my butt. I got lots of seed ticks, which is why I'm looking forward to getting away from the local area. Now, I'm not gonna say where we're going. You'll have to find out in the next episode, but if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey.